What's going on, YouTubes? Oh, jeez, look at my hair. <laughs> Today, we are, or tonight, or whatever time of day it is for you, we're going to be doing a battery relocation. So, the battery, right there, we're going to put that in the boot. So, in the boot here. I reckon we put it right about here where I've made this little hole. Don't worry, I've got all the footage for that. I've got all my fishing gear in. I took the girls down fishing today. So I'll get all this crap out of the way. But as you can see here, I've got myself a little spot where I can put it. Got our earthy here. Earth. And I run a positive right from the front to the back. Here's the positive wire. I've already kind of started this little bit too. And then remembered I need to do the video. So, in your footwell, driver's footwell, up. Here behind the fuse box, there's the fuse box there. Behind the fuse box, you've got this rubber grommet. This one just here. So what I've done is, is I've pulled it out of the firewall, like so, and I put a, with a Stanley knife, I put a little slit on one side, and then a slit on the other side, like you can see there, right? And then I poked it through, like so, and uh, now I'm just feeding that through the, the hole, and like so, and then once you do that, you should have it in the bay. And then with the rest of the wire, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it underneath all this kick panel here. Cut, tuck it all underneath this kick panel. Run it in behind here. Tuck it all in behind underneath this kick panel here, and then up underneath this one. So I just have to lift our back seats up for that, which is easy to do. I'll take the rods out. Get underneath this panel, through that bit of plastic. This bit of plastic just here, which you'll be able to get your hand up in here and do that easy peasy. So I'll get to doing that, all this video right now as we speak. Yeah, I think so. Not too sure. What about these ones for again? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh good. That goes onto that. You do that. See? So I brought like hold up. Whoa. Dude. Daughter's tried to pull my pants down. <laughs> Oh, no, that's wrong with it. The wire that we're going to be using, like the positive wire, is cable six meters of 200 amp battery cable. 3B and S. Whatever the fuck that means. What'd it cost? Cost me $113 for wire. It's heavy, but it's very, very heavy. Heavy. So, like I showed you before, you put the hole in the grommet and then feed it up in through. And then you feed it up in through and you keep on feeding and you keep on feeding until you've got about this much like so and we're going to connect this piece yeah the grommet's way up in there i was like searching for it in the engine bay and i couldn't find it <laughs> no the only reason i found it is because the red wire started coming out 
So don't worry about trying to find the grommet from the engine bay side, guys. Just up behind the fuse box, under your dash, on the driver's side. And you'll find a grommet there, the one I showed you. Just make sure you pull it out before you try and cut it because you don't want to cut any of the wires that go from that to the fuse box. But anyways, you just keep on pushing. Pulling? Pushing. You can't pull it. You look like reason. you're pulling. No, I'm push, 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 <laughs> pushing it until you've got what you think's enough and then come check it. But this has got to be connected to this. So we're going to remove this positive terminal, cut, cut that off, and then we're going to solder these two pieces together and put a bit of heat shrink over that. So, I guess, I guess, I guess, I need to take the battery out. So, taking that battery, gotta remove your little battery holder, which is two 10 mils. So we're taking off the battery, whatever you call this thing, battery holder, battery clampy thing in the bottom. And we will probably use this too, by the way, guys. We'll so keep that. Probably can use it in the back. And what's this? Yep, 10 mil tip. Nice. What's you? 10 mil tip. Nice. Undo our battery. Oh, here goes all my stereo settings. Damn it. And now we can pull this thing off. And the battery out. Like so. We don't need that anymore. Space. Look at all this shit I gotta take out. Where do these earthy straps go to? Alright, one just earthed there. And where's this other one go? Oh, that just earthed there. So we don't need this earthy thing anymore. So we can get rid of that. Because I have my own. But if I hadn't known that, I wouldn't have brought one of them. I brought one of these. I might use this one instead of that one because it's double earth. Hmm, I don't know. This is the bit that I'm a bit worried about. Not worried about, but I just don't know how to make this look pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I guess I'll just take this little bracket off first. This little metal bracket. Come off! I said come off! Yeah. Come off! Oh yeah. I said to roll my eyes at these. And then wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Watch out, PB. Watch out the door. Oh, well, there we go. Now I can just... I guess that doesn't need to be on there anymore. Twisty, twisted. I show that needs to be hidden down there for now, so we don't get confused and try and solder the positive to the air. Does this come off? Oh, there's a bolt there. All right, but if I take that off, where am I going to put this? Hmm, might have to put some zip zip ties somewhere like that. I'll be back in a second. 
Now I'm back in a second, Mr. Professor, with my little little latkes. Oh, now I can shave. So we're gonna get this out of the way. What we got a 10 mil there. On the battery bracket. Here. Yeah. This is gonna be nice and tight. <coughs> yep, sure was. Take that 10 mil out. Whoa, we got so much more room for turbo application squats. And the air flow now to the pod filter. Yep. Take that 10mm out. Take uh, this 10 mil down here. So we've taken that 10 mil out and then there's a 10 mil right here. If you see, what I see. Okay, that's not a 10 mil, it's a 12 mil. I think I'm very good at doing the hole. It's not a 10 mil, it's a 12 mil. Oh wait, no, nope, it's a 13 mil. Huh? I got an 11 and a 12 mil just in case it's not either one. No, it's not an 11 mil, so it's definitely a 12 mil, I got it right. See how I'm putting all my sockets over there? And not here? That's because I'm a professor and I don't want to lose them in the body part. Oh, fuck a rattery, Brussels rattery. That was tight. This is a big ass bracket. I don't want the battery falling out, do they? I guess that's probably a good thing. Can we use that in the back? I've already made one. Thank you. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, but this one's going to be too big, anyways. Don't tell me it's like spot welded or whatever, too. Jesus. Oh, well, I'm going to take out this one here. I'm just going to start undoing things, okay? Because it can't. It can't stay there. She needs to get out. Get out! I don't want this ugly thing. And once I get this piece out, I can remove all this old airbox crap that I've never been able to get to because it's underneath this. And I didn't want to have to take this whole thing out. I probably should have done it because then I'd know how it works. Smart. Beauty is, is I've got three spare bolts now. So far, so good. Oh no! There's one underneath the friggin' airbox thing. Are you serious? <coughs> oh. oh, okay, that's alright. I can go in there. Don't worry. Stressing out. So there's another, another one down there. Where the socket is, if you can see my socket. Where my socket is, see? Right next to the other one. There. And we got that one there. Ooh, that's tricky. Oh my god, this is so dangerous, guys. Be careful, there's sharp things everywhere. Oh, moly. Come on, muscles! Work! Work! Oh, I had to break my ratchet. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Was that flexing? Or muscles flexing? Mm hmm. Ew! <laughs> That's for all the boys that watch my YouTube channel, because I know no girls tell or watch it because my analytics tell me. So all you boys just see my muscles. You liked it? Well, that's all that matters. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My arm's stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like one of those kid moments. Oh, shit. How did I even get my hand down in there? Oh, my God. There we go. Another bolt. Slowly getting loose. Oh, jeez. I think I found another one. Is that connected to... Oh, my God. There's another one there. I don't know. There's something behind here. It's a, it's a, it's Holy schmoly. Look, there's another one here. Uh, you're not going to see from there. 
Mr. Cameraman. See that one there? Can you see it? There. So we got that one there, that one there, there's one down there, there's one there, there's one down here somewhere. Yep, right down underneath here that nobody can see except for my fingertips. I think that should be all of them, surely. There can't be more than that. Did you remember how I said earlier that we took the girls fishing? We literally were fishing with the wind. And it was the worst fishing. The sun was nice and the bay was nice, but the fishing was not nice. Oh, we're loose. We're loose. There must just be that one. Whatever that's gone. Where are you? Oh, gosh, the other I think that's a tango. This one looks like, feels like it's going to be difficult to get to with a spanner. I mean, with a ratchet. Oh, I've lost it again. Nope, nope. Where are you? Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go. It's way down underneath here. Like, I don't know. Mm, up in and under. Kind of like in line with that one and then underneath. I don't know, just feel around with your fingies guys and you'll find it. That's what I did. I didn't even know there was one there. I just assumed there was one there and felt with my fingertips and I found it. Oh, don't tell me there's another one somewhere. Where are you? There is two. What? How many have I taken out? Shit. Six of them so far. Wowzers. Where's number seven? Is it right down? I'll start cutting you with the angle grinder, mate. Don't mess with me. Oh, there you, there you are. I found you. Ooh. That one might be hard. I think it's behind a brake line or a clutch line. Oh, no. Midges are starting, aren't they? They are. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use a spanny span. Not use spanish, a spanny span. Well, I was pointing at, I have to get from underneath the car, and you can't see nothing from under here because I am like. Sorry, kind sir. I am taco. Huh? I am like a taco. <laughs> underneath the car, you have to get this little one with a spanner. The brake line is in the way. Ah, oh, there, I'm getting dust and shit in my eyeballs. <laughs> so yeah, if you uh, if you want to go underneath the car and lay down like a taco, you can find this one. Oh, but if not, you're going to have to bring your car to me to get this one. Because I don't know how to explain to you, ah, where this one is. I think it is connected behind your clutch line. I got two in my eyes, two in my eyes. Oh, there you go. Where your clutch line runs from your slave cylinder to your engine bay side panel where your wheel arch is, it is right behind it. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to, ow! I dropped a spanner on my face. I just got something to fly. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to have to come up here with a hacksaw <laughs> and uh, cutty cutty of this thingy off here. Get off me. Don't touch me. Uh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know you were right there. <laughs> I think I'm getting somewhere. <gasps> I got it. I got you. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna untalk it myself. Okay. Now, I need to see something under here. 
I need to pull this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ow. Oh. I got things in my eyes, with guys. Why? Oh, why did the clutch line have to go through it? I don't want to play clutch line today. I'm not undoing you, so if you can't undo, I'm cutting you out. Oh, you're kidding me. Fine, I'm cutting you. There's a nut way. Oh, wait, is that a pop? <gasps> There's a nut there. Yes! I don't have to cut it. I found a nut. A bolt. So there's a bracket. Yeah, I can show you actually. There's a bracket. Alright, and there. See that bracket? The clutch line goes from your slave cylinder over there and goes to this. See? Goes from here, along here, down to this rubber goes around, it goes up, and then it goes to this black bracket. And this black bracket is connected to this box. So we need to take it off. Easy done. Easier said than done, I should say. But anyway, I'll do that. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Can I please have the 12 mil socket on the ratchet? Actually, actually, you can turn your display just to need a piece so I can see what I do. Oh, hello, sir. Is that not a bolt? Okay, that's a bolt. <laughs> you got any room there? No, I don't have much room at all. Oh, are you serious? It's a 10 mil. I don't know you want again. It's a 10 mil, not a 12 mil. Have you got that? No. It's up here. Why does this bracket have to be connected to frickin' everything? So like if your battery falls out, mate, your whole clutch is gonna fall out as well, and this is gonna fall out, and that's gonna fall out, and it's gonna go into your gearbox, and then that's gonna fall out. It's just the battery, man. Yes! It's coming out! Get out of here! Is that this? Is this like this? Yes! <laughs> Hello, little fluffy club We'll just zip tie that to there somewhere or something, it'll be fine. Or I could just bendy bendy just a little bit and put the ball back in. Hmm, very sneaky. Next, I'll zip it tight. Zip tie everything. Look, how many bolts we just took out? To get that out. Right. Just to get this thing out. Hello. Now we can kind of see what's going on. Whoa! Look at all the room! Holy smokes! Oh wow, we're gonna get good airflow now. Jesus. Very, very good airflow. Why doesn't that just come out? Why not just come out? Oh, you want to come up and then that's I said, see. Just a, oh, the airbox thing. No, that still doesn't want to come out. No wonder I couldn't take you out with the battery and then you still don't want to come out. Very, very nice. Here I'm holding this with my mouth. It goes on your head, too. Oh. Hey, look, that I can find you. Whoa, what happened? I can find you easy now. Look how disgusting the motor is down there. Yuck. See the gearbox linkages? Well, you can change gears from here. Bet you didn't know you could do that. Oh yeah, while well, I'm thinking of it. So if you if you got a front wheel drive car and you get like a sloppy gear stop, gear stick. It's not like a rear wheel drive car where the gear shifter actually goes straight into the gearbox. On these ones here, where the where the shifter linkage is, so that's like I don't know. I presume like first, second, first, first and second shifter linkage, and then this one here's got to do with other 
I don't know, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, reverse, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so you've got these little rubbers. So you've got this little split pin here, and then there's like, it, the linkage goes in, it goes around this thing that they connect to. There's, these are actually little rubbers. So when you get like a bit of slop in there, that's normally caused from the rubbers are here and here gone. If not there, you've got the exact same sort of setup, but down underneath. So the gear shifter goes to those linkage cables with little rubber circle round rubber grommets. Major look. <coughs> this might be good. So I went and brought this fancy pantsy earthy thing and I lost the nut for it already down in the hole somewhere. Well, that's not good. But I already had one. Oh dang it. I think that was like a $20 wire. Gone fishing? Nah, just getting these out of the way. <laughs> I thought the ADD was kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's normally what happens, eh? Watch, watch. Oh, my watch went flat. Oh, we might as well take it off, eh? Done all the hard part anyway now. I think I drive my cameraman crazy. I just walk around in circles. Not really. Hi. Nest Cafe coffee. So good. People say to get a coffee machine, but I reckon this is just as good. Do you reckon? It makes me want my coffee now. Cool. Do you reckon I could just like cut that? Jam it in there and then just take the shit out of this. I feel like being lazy, YouTube. I think I might do that. Because what happens if my soldering's not good? I'm not very good at so I'm not I don't really do electricals. I do lots of greasy stuff. I don't do clean electrical stuff. So, what I might do is bend that out. Yeah, like so. Bend this in. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna cut you off. Cut it, cut it. Now we might be able to bend it. Yep. Like so. Oh jeez, I bent that a bit too bit. A bit. Surely that's gonna be good. Put that back in there, that back in there. Like this. Or the other way. And then just Cut my positive wire. What are you doing hiding down there for? Yeah, I reckon two P buddy. And then just cut this nice and long, wrap around, and then tighten the crap out of it. And then I can just squeezy squeezy, wrappy wrappy. Seems dodgy. But uh, what isn't dodgy on my stuff? Not much. There we go, that's what I thought. Beautiful. I'm only joking guys, I'll do it like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Oh, I might need a bit more wires. Oh. Hi. 
This child always hangs out with me. I don't know whose kid she is. That's my kid. Let's see. Your cans always get in the way, mate. My big hands. Yeah, yeah. Got little hands. See through. <laughs> I know that. He's so strong. He always breaks things. I know. He's got big hands. Mm. <laughs> this is much better. Now, like this. Now, squeezy, squeezy. Put the box back on. The nut. Tighty, tighty. Oh, this is going to be better than any soldering job I'm going to do. I tell you this right now. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Super tight. And then I can probably squeeze it, squeeze it. Good boy, thought, Daddy. Squeezy, squeezy. Yes, sir. Tighty, tighty. I'm sure I could do that. Aha! This is so good. Here I am stressing out that I'm going to have to do soldering. No! No way, mate. Look. Done. No sharp bits. A bit of a sticky tape. And nobody will ever know that that's underneath there. Except for everybody watching on YouTube. <laughs> but I'm a superstar, so it doesn't matter. So now we just sticky tight. Hide it all. Very, very good. Thanks, Bob. Mm -hmm. And then make sure we zip it tie somewhere nice and safe. This is the serious bait. This is the most important part of the whole entire job. Your face is so serious, Dad. I'm telling you, this is the most serious part. They need to be serious. I'm concentrating. Putting the sticky tape on. Thank you. And I reckon you just use a whole roll. Just to be sure, to be sure. A whole roll of good free amp sticky tap. Beautiful. See? Can't even see the dodginess underneath that. You know, it doesn't matter if it looks dodgy as long as it works, right? That's my motto. Like this, like this. And then you get it there, like this. And then, done. Beautiful. <laughs> We're done. That's all you gotta do. Now we have positive power to the battery. Oh wait, no we don't. What are we going to do about you though? Oh, oh, dripping. Mm. But I might be able to just wrap a zip tie around you. Oh, oh wait, no, do your feet. No, you won't there. Mm -hmm. Will it stay there like a shot? With a zip tie? Seems like it just stays like that there like that. Uh, that's how the cruiser's one is. Just like chilling like that. We need to zip your tie. Um, I probably could have done a little bit better with going behind things, but oh well, that doesn't matter. That's just typical Julian style. Now what are you doing, Bully? I might go up. Zip tie there. Zip tie there. Now I've got a fun job of trying to tuck it underneath all of this stuff. Can you see what I'm going on here, guys? Yes. So we have it coming out of this grommet which is not back in the firewall properly. You gotta put that back in the firewall properly, like so. And then, we're just gonna- You might wanna show them the grommet up there, please. 
the grommet up there where she comes out of the fuse box right there and then we're just gonna tuck it underneath all this plastic kick paneling just jam her in underneath there mate it doesn't matter just jam it in there luxure and try and untwist it as you go so it doesn't bloody want to twist out on you that's my advice i wonder if i'm gonna have enough extra so i can put a sub in when i got a shabu Yes, I know. I've been cleaning the outside, but nobody is helping me clean the inside. You said no one's helping cleaning the inside. <laughs> I offered the last weekend. Uh, uh, oh. Well. Nobody helps. Whatever. <laughs> Hey, I should get back in there. Good boy. Just jammy jammy under here. Get out of here, carpet. There we go. Now get back in there, carpet. Yeah. Hey, big hey. Somebody needs to pull this thing off when we do the vacuum. This is so funny. <laughs> get down. I should get down. Okay. Don't touch me. Get down to the carpet. Ugh. The sheer muscles are like so. This cord. And then, in the back there where the pillow is, there should be a red wire somewhere. Look at this Hello, Mr. Red Wire, where are you? Oh, you're kidding me, it's right there somewhere. Now we flip this back on. Not that way, it goes this way. Nope, it goes this way. This bit goes back on here. Like so. The bit that Bella just reckons magically fell off that time. They don't just magically fall off Bella boats. Oh! Your boat, eh? No more pillows. They're my spare camping pillows, by the way. Them things. I'm too scared to take us camping. I'm not scared. Maybe I am a little bit scared. Oh, we got guys! Fuck yeah, we got shot wire. What am I little nut and bolt? Whoa! Somebody forgot to close their tackle box in. You freaking ding that, Julian. <coughs> so you missed me do this little bit, but I did record it. It's on somewhere. But what I've done is I've welded some brackets. To here. And then, Josie helped me make a template so that we can put that there. And then I'll drill a little hole and a little hole for the battery holder thing to go down. And then that other little plastic thing that went around the battery, 
I'll just slip that around the battery and it'll be like a battery box. And then eventually down the future, down the track, I want to try and cut all of this out and make like a false wall here so that you can still get to like with a little hatch so you can get to it and then have like my sub, a little sub next to it. You want to have a sub? Make a oos, 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 fully sick a sub, a woofer, oos, 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 oos. So this cable lugs, I just cut the, I cut the wire so it's about that much longer than the actual terminal. Just so we've got a little bit of room so that when we want to pull it out we can. But then I squeeze that bad boy, I put some heat shrink on there first and then squeezed her on. Look at this. And I'll have to wrap that with some tape. A little terminal. It's even got little red red wings on for the wing nut. That goes like so. Onto your little battery terminal. And eventually too, another thing that I'm gonna do, on the, so you remember how I was saying before the little false door, trap door, I'm gonna get like a little, maybe I shouldn't tell you actually. Nah, I'm not gonna tell you because That'd be stupid and defeat the purpose. Don't worry. I need to tell Shazzy, but I'm not telling you, YouTube. Not sure. That's how she gonna be. Make sure that's nice and tight and heat shrinked and taped on there so it can't touch any metal objects because then it would technically be earthing the battery. But yeah, that like that. This one. Back in here with my little nut and bolt that I went and found before. Now I've lost it again. Back in here and back on there. Mm. Maybe that's not a good enough earth. I need to find a better earth. Wasn't tight. All right, so it was just the terminal wasn't tight, guys. It's because uh, no, it didn't work now. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm a bit simple sometimes. So make sure that her terminals are tight. It's not even tight properly, but it's not loose like it was. Because even this one's still a little bit loose. So we'll tighten those bad boys up. And then I just need to have it nicely tucked in there like so. Drill a hole there, and then drill a hole on the other side in the same spot for my little battery bracket. Maybe I can slide it that way a little bit, like that. Should have got nice room. Boom, back hole there, hole there on the other side. Fasten that down, fasten down my little thing with some screws. And we'll call her job done. Make sure she starts. And there. What have you done? The frog and it's not a toad. I made sure it wasn't. And what was that? Just under, you know, the steps where to go to your garage. The second mm. last step, it was just under there. Is he okay? Yeah, he was just he was digging into the. Oh, rocks. it's like a little burrowed frog. Probably. Is that what they call. Green man is alive a little bit more. Our battery's flat. Is that what they call those things? Maybe the burrowing frog. I think so. It is a frog too. It's not a toad. I made sure because it doesn't look like one. So cute. I know, it's so tiny too. Go take him back where you got him from. Yeah. He's so cute. I'm Watch doing school work. See, so, so. Cheers for watching, guys. This a little burrow on frog. Battery location done. We got heaps more room in the engine bay. So now, stay tuned for me to do rocket cover gasket. I'm going to do the rocket cover gasket with my new U-Boot purple, purpleness. Very nice. And then Tuesday, 
We'll do a few highway pulls so we can do a before and after of the tune. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am because I am so keen. He reckons 156 horsepower is what his dyno will read. Let's see what we can push her to. I'm going to get the VTEC dropped a bit. So VTEC kicks in at about 47. I'm going to try and get it kick, like drop down to about 39. 4,000 or 39, like 3,900 RPM. Because I was noticing the other day when you're shifting, like when you're like almost near the limmy and shift, the, the shift goes, like it'll go from like a limmy to four and a half, four, three. So we'll try and get it so that when we're shifting gears real quick, da, 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 it's constantly on VTEC. And that'll make a difference. Remap the fuel so she's not so rich. Make her a little bit more on the happy side. Try and get the fuel consumption down because at the moment it's 9.3 per 100, which is quite a bit. Yeah. Cheers for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Oh no, where is the battery? There she goes. Call it as a rock there, mate. And it's pretty flush with that, which is fucking sick. Fuck yeah. So much more room in here.